So let's try something new and grow a carrot plant from scratch. Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I'm in the middle of a little series where I'm trying things that I've seen on TikTok and this is going to incorporate something I've seen on TikTok and probably some other crafty, tasty videos, you know, those weird ones that you see on Facebook. But I am gonna try to grow a carrot plant from scratch so I made carrot cake a little while ago. I will link that video up above if you guys wanna check it out. But with one of the carrots that had some greenery on the top there, I just chopped off the top and put it in water. And none of these green pieces were present. It was just this little stub. And it's been sitting in water for a good number of weeks I think now I don't remember exactly how long if I can calculate it I will put it up on the screen but it has sprouted roots and it is ready to go in a little planter so from my understanding and the little research I've done is this actually won't create any more carrots but once it is planted it will produce carrot seeds and from there I can go ahead and plant those and those will then produce a bunch of carrots and you know there we go, free food and probably more carrot cake in the future that I can make. So I have this carrot that I need to plant and I really don't have anywhere to plant it. I don't really want to plant it at my parents' house, like in their soil, because I don't really know the best place for carrots and if I pick a bad spot, you know, then it won't flourish and it'll just kind of be pointless anyways. And then I have to start from scratch. And I don't even know if they really want carrots. So we got a pallet a while ago and Juan actually made me this adorable little trough. It's a little bit raised and I didn't capture any of the footage of him making it, but apparently he didn't measure a thing. He just kind of did it all from sight and just kind of like, oh, I think this needs to be cut a little bit more. But I told him I'll be happy if it looks like a sixth grader made it because I just want a little place for my carrots and it's a temporary thing. Once we get into our own house, then you know we can get something a little bit fancier. But honestly, I am very impressed with the work that he did. I think it looks adorable and I kind of want to keep it for as long as it will last. But to make sure that it lasts a little bit longer and doesn't begin to rot, I found this plastic bag in our garage. I was gonna use like the plastic bag that comes around all of the paper towels from Costco, just something. And today I'm gonna be like nailing this in to the wood just to kind of keep it a little bit more waterproof. I also picked up some potting soil from the Dollar Tree. They sell these little bags. It is four dry quarts of potting soil. And I know that it's probably not gonna be enough, but that is totally fine because my parents make their own compost. And I was able to scoop out a whole bunch and we're gonna just kind of incorporate the soil that I bought and the compost that my parents have to make a nice rich soil for this little carrot. So, you know, I'm a total noob. <laughs> if you guys are noobs too and you're curious about this, you know, make sure you do your research, but I'm gonna try my best and hopefully I'll be able to have a cute little harvest for you sometime in the future. This may not even be the best time to plant carrots, but out in California, you know, for right now, at least the weather's gonna be pretty much the same for the next number of months. And I figured that, you know, this little carrot plant looks good enough to at least be planted. Uh, I don't know when it will produce seeds and all of that stuff. So we'll figure that out when the time comes, but I wanted to get this guy planted before it like just drowns in this little tiny cup of water that I've had to keep refilling lately. So enough chit chat, let's go ahead and plastic up this little trough and fill it with dirt and plant my carrot.
Okay, so I finished like nailing in that plastic bag and in order to kind of at least have a spot for drainage, I nailed in the bag where the two boards meet and then cut a slit where that space is so that they're still able to drain and we don't have any standing water at the bottom, but most of the wood is still kind of protected, if you know what I mean. So now I get to go ahead and fill this up with my compost dirt mixture. So the great thing about this is pretty much I can move this wherever it needs to go. If I notice that it looks like it needs more sun, I can move it to a sunnier area or I can move it to a shadier area if that's what it needs. But I'm excited to see hopefully how this flourishes and when it gets seeds, I will definitely update you guys. But I love my little trough. Thank you Juan for building it for me. Uh, I really like how nice and tiny it is and you know I don't need to be making a hundred carrots or growing a hundred carrots from here on out. I can just kind of grow what seems reasonable for our family and go from there. But that wraps up today's video. I don't know about you guys but I am really surprised at how easy it was to kind of get my own carrot plant going. Uh, just kind of cut off the head of the carrot especially if it has like some greenery and put that into water and let it sit there and replenish the water until you know you see the greens growing and eventually the little white roots will come out and then it's ready to plant. And if your husband is at least as crafty as Juan, maybe he can put together a trough or you can do it too. Uh, I'm too much of a perfectionist to try to come up with something on my own and I figure I'd let Juan take the wheel on that one. I know this isn't my typical content, but I want to try to get out of my comfort zone a lot of the times and try new things, especially, you know, things I'm seeing on TikTok since it fits in with my little series and so far so good. This one worked. If you're looking for a carrot just to reproduce a carrot, that's not going to be the case, but you know, hopefully this will all go well and I'll give you a positive update in the future. I should also note that one other upside of having this little tiny trough is if the carrots don't work out, I can still plant other stuff. I can plant some strawberries or whatever other kind of foods or flowers or plants that I want and it'll be in a nice little portable thing for me to take along as Juan and I transition out of my parents' house and into our own. There will be plenty of updates regarding that but in the coming months we'll probably be moving out so you know it's kind of nice that I can bring this along if it's a positive I get my carrots still or I need to plant something else. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys are new I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel and since us moms have to do it all that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.